They said Shinzo was just gonna be an Aizawa clone. They said it was impossible to make a good moveset for Shinzo. And oh my god, they were wrong. Welcome back to My Hero 1 Justice 2, the game that has completely given up on balance and released the most busted DLC that I've ever seen. Even Hawks didn't feel this busted when he came out. To be fair, the latest patch seems to be buffing some low tiers, but then they release a character that's really, really strong on his own, but has an assist that is hands down the best assist in the game. And you're gonna see it on every team from now on. In this video, we're gonna take you through Shinso's moves, what they're good for, and I'm gonna give you guys some combos and some tech that will make anyone mauled when playing against this character. And if you'd like to catch me playing this character live, I'll be doing it on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash globku. The link is down below. And shoutouts to Kuro from the My Hero Remix server. Without her, I wouldn't have been able to get access to this character this early. Really, really appreciate your help. It's thanks to her that you guys are watching this right now. But let's start with his normals. The unblockable is this sliding kick. You can combo after it normally. The move itself has pretty good damage for this type of kick. Very good reach for an unblockable move and very good speed as well. This is a move that you want to put into your combos as much as possible as it increases your damage like crazy. And luckily, Shinso has a few ways to do it multiple times in a single combo. The grounded attack string is this three hit combo with a very big gap between the second and third hits, with the third hit launching the opponent really far away. This attack string gives Shinso a few combo roots after each one of the attacks, so it lets you be creative and adjust on the fly if you need to. He's got quirks that combo after each one of these three hits. Yes, even the one that knocks the opponent really far away. His grounded tilt attack also has very good reach and puts Shinso in the air. So from there, you can follow up with aerial quirks, because it can be quite hard to follow up with an attack. But you can also land and throw your binding cloth if you want to go down that route. But more on this quirk and combo routes further in the video. This yellow attack is a bit slow though, which makes it not the best counter-attack tool. In the air, his attack string is a 4-hit combo with mad options. The second jumping attack has so much hit stun that if you're close to the ground, you can land and re-jump and loop this until the combo breaks. If you're higher up in the air, you can jump cancel or sidestep it to loop this combo a little bit. And the third and fourth attack also have a ton of combo options using both his yellow attacks or his quirks. So it's another attack that gives Shinso a ton of options. But it does have a big downside though, which is the very first jumping attack. This attack sucks so much. It has no reach, it has a very small hitbox, which means you're gonna lose air-to-air -air battles all the time. Even though Shinso likes to be in the air for maximum damage, it's hard for him to win air-to-air -air battles. And to close out our normals, the jumping tilt attack is this 3-kick flurry, which is a pretty fast armored move, so you can use this one as a counter much better than the grounded one. You can also cancel any of the 3 kicks into a quirk, which is also gonna expand your combo possibilities. Moving on to his quirks. Quirk 1 should be very familiar. It's the Aizawa kick. It's a very very fast upwards kick with very good reach and it works both on the ground and in the air. Since it's really fast, it can shut down any opponent approaching you, and if you hit your opponent, the hit stun lasts for a really long time and they travel crazy far, so this is a really good option for Shinso to get wall splats if there is a wall in front of you. But it doesn't really need those wall splats mostly because of Tilt Quirk 1, which is gonna bind the opponent and kick them towards the ground. This quirk also works both on the ground and in the air, and both versions will give you a ground splat on hit, making combos very easy to confirm for Shinso and giving him very high damage output without needing to dash cancel. But here's where it gets really crazy. Quirk 2 is the quirk we've been looking forward to. It's his control. In the show, if you reply to Shinso whenever he asks a question, he'll gain control over your mind. How that's translated to the game is Shinso will set up this bubble, and if you do any action that makes your character talk, you will get stunned. Those actions include any attack, jumping, dashing, sidestepping, literally anything. All you can do inside this bubble is walk in and out slowly, without sprinting. You can hold the block button if you want, but if you actually block an assist, for instance, the stun will also trigger. The big downside to this is that it takes quite a bit to activate. As you can see, it's a pretty slow move. It doesn't have a big recovery, so it can be hard to punish after it's over, but it takes a really long time to become active. But what that means is that Shinso is now the character with the best pressure on Wake Up in the entire game. From a knockdown, he can get his squirk going while you're getting up, and assist can force you to get caught in a new combo. And by the way, combos done on a stunned opponent deal exactly the same damage, so they don't get any scaling penalty. But it gets even worse than that, because the stun also triggers in this situation. You might be wondering, 
what the hell did the opponent do? And the answer is nothing, they, they just blocked. But I thought you could safely block inside the bubble as long as you don't actually block an assist or something. That's true. However, do you see that the character was flashing white? That means they're invulnerable because they're just getting up. When they go from the invulnerable state back to normal, the quirk will also trigger. And that's just gonna make it impossible to get out of certain situations. Because you either just wake up and take an attack to the face, or you block and you're stunned and you're taking a full combo. Your options are getting hit or getting hit. Even assists that try to get in your bubble will get stunned, but there are some exceptions that can counter this. First, any projectiles from outside the bubble will hit Shinso, no problem. Muscular assist, I believe, has invisibility, so he can also go through. Not Kirishima, because armor gets destroyed, but muscular is fine. And if you have a really fast attack, for instance shoot style Deku's kicks, you can also hit Shinso before the stun comes into effect. Make no mistake, this is the ability that makes Shinso a really good character. Well, that and his high damage output from so many situations, when we look at combos you guys will see. But the thing is, this is also his assist on the ground, so any character can have this pressure on wake up now, and potentially do it even better than Shinso himself, because as you set it up, your character is then free to apply any pressure from another angle. And since we're on the topic of the assist, in the air he does his tilt quirk 1, which will cause a ground bounce giving you a pretty good combo extension. But since the assist is so good, both on the ground and gives you a decent extension in the air, it must have a long cooldown, right? It must have a long cooldown, right? Nope, it's in line with the shortest cooldowns in the game. Same cooldown as Shigaraki, Tsuyu and Kirishima. A 10 second cooldown on use, 20 seconds when the round starts. And that's just insane to me. This is what makes the DLC absolutely busted. But we're not done with his quirks. Tilt quirk 2 while on the ground is the Binding Cloth. Just like Aizawa, but Shinso cannot do this one in the air. It has the same follow-ups as Aizawa though. You can tilt the stick to pull the opponent in and reset your combo, or you can press the quirk button again to throw them really far and get a wall splat if you want it. This also deals a big amount of damage, so it's a good combo finisher too. In the air, his tilt quirk 2 is different. Shinso goes all Spider-Man. If you keep holding a direction after you throw your cloth, he'll swing a second time in that direction. And if you hit the quirk button again, he will attempt to dive kick the opponent, though this move has limited range. And it can also be pretty easy to punish, so don't just throw this out there. That said, you can throw the kick after the first or your second swing, so you can stay unpredictable. And if you actually connect, this move deals quite a bit of damage. It could even be useful as a combo finisher. It's also awesome for when you try to approach your opponent from the air and they blocked, because you can just swing back to safety and try again later. Onward to his plus ultras! Plus ultra 1 is this big combo using a lot of moves that we just looked at, much like other combos similar to this one, you can call an assist halfway through to extend the combo if you so desire. But if you don't, it ends in a ground splat, so you can even extend the combo from there. This plus ultra, like many others in the game, only works on the ground, he does not have any plus ultras in the air. And then his plus ultra 2 is so unique. Once again he puts up the control bubble, this time it's a bigger bubble than before, and the same conditions apply. If the opponent does anything that makes their character speak, they get hit and the full animation of Plus Ultra 2 begins. Which I really appreciate how short and sweet this animation is. Thank you for not making this super long like some other Plus Ultras in game. Now because this Plus Ultra activates almost as a counter, this means that Shinso is the first character in this game that cannot combo into his own Plus Ultra 2. You don't count. You don't even have a Plus Ultra 2. But just because he can't combo into it, it doesn't mean that it's a bad plus ultra, because Shinso can block string into this plus ultra. Remember that if the opponent blocks an assist, the bubble will hit them, and that is also true for this plus ultra. Guard cancelling can work sometimes, but sometimes it can also whiff. The best course of action, believe it or not, is that if you see this setup happening, you just gotta let yourself get hit by the assist. You'll take the assist damage, but then you can punish Shinso as he recovers from his plus ultra too. And the recovery is really big, it's really easy to punish this if you're patient. Alright, it's time to put all of this stuff together. While the loops and the read jumps using his jumping attacks look super cool and saucy, I found a route that does more damage both in the air and on the ground, so I haven't quite found a use for these loops yet. That said, keep an eye out on the competitive discord for new tech, I'm sure they'll let you know as soon as something more powerful gets discovered. But my route from a simple grounded attack is this. This is my chance. I can use this in a real train move. Watch if this is the result of my training. 
Now, in a match, I don't always confirm the two hits into the tilt attack, especially when I was first getting started with a character, but luckily you can also confirm from the third hit into the cloth and still get some decent damage. There's a pretty specific delay you gotta do from the third kick into the cloth, but if you pull it off, you get the rest of the combo for free. From a jumping attack, it's even easier because you just let the four attacks roll and you've got a very, very easy confirm after that. Watch your feet! I can use this in a real fight. Done for. This is my the result of my training. And if you want to throw a plus ultra, I've been doing it at the very end of the combo. I've tried to do it early in the combo since you can extend it, but I wasn't able to get more damage than when I do it at the end. So this is the route I have right now. The result of my training. I'll show you what I can do. You won't avoid this! And as you can see, Shinzo's combos deal a ton of damage. With a plus ultra 1, he's a 2 touch character. Without a plus ultra 1, he's a 3 touch character. And if you're good enough at pressuring your opponent on wake up, you're gonna get those touches no problem. And that's what getting good with Shinzo is gonna require you to do. It's gonna require you to space your quirk 2 correctly when pressuring the opponent on wake up and on block. That's gonna be the biggest hurdle for those trying to pick this character up. And because of the way his quirk works, he likes assists that hit multiple times. You might immediately think Rappa, but if your opponent knows Shinso, they'll just let themselves get hit when Rappa has gaps, which is right at the start and right at the end of the assist. So I don't think it's that good for Shinso, someone like Bakugo or Nomo is probably a much better option. If you have an assist like that and you make your opponent block, with two bars you can pretty much get a guaranteed 14,000 damage. And the opponent was just blocking, that's insane. And without bars, they're gonna get stunned, which gives you a free combo. And by the way, the opponents cannot call the assist to break the combo while they are stunned. Stunned. Once you break the stun, yeah, they can do it, but while they are stunned, they can't, which means you can just throw a plus ultra 1 if you just want to guarantee the damage. His neutral is also pretty good, he can run away or chase you down using the Spider-Man cloth, and he can shut down approaches pretty easily with the Aizawa kick. Shinzo has the damage, the scary pressure, and decent neutral too. The character on its own is very strong, but if you take an S-tier character and pair them up with this assist, then it's GG. You get touched once, you might as well be dead. So should you buy Shinso? I mean, if you want to win, yeah, sure. I kinda hate that he's this busted because the character is actually really cool and really fun. They made his quirk actually translate into gameplay pretty damn well when no one believed it was possible. But now I think the community is gonna see this as the cheap character that only tryhards pick. And I actually don't think the character itself is busted. He's very strong, but I don't think he breaks the game. What breaks the game is the assist. Even if the assist had a long cooldown, this assist would be ridiculous anyway. I kinda wish the grounded assist was not control. Cause if you set that up, all the opponent can do is walk out of the bubble slowly. They can't jump, they can't sprint, they can't block, they're just screwed. You see a Shinso assist on a team? Get ready because they're not gonna let you play the game. But that's what I think of Shinso in One's Justice 2. Let me know what you think of him in the comments down below and don't forget I'll be streaming this character on Twitch. Give me a follow to be notified when I go live, the link is down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!